Hey girlfriends, I'm Bianca Renee and you're watching Bianca Renee Today. And today, I'm finally giving in to a very popular trend happening on YouTube and the natural hair community, which is rice water rinses. This magical potion right here is supposed to grow your hair, bring back your edges, and save lives. Okay, maybe not the last one. This magical potion is supposed to help grow your hair, help with length retention, bring back your edges, make your hair shiny, help with detangling, like it's, it's supposed to do everything. So I obviously gotta give it a try and see what all the hype is about, and I'm gonna show you exactly how I made this. It's literally rice and water. The end. Rice is known to have amino acids, antioxidants, vitamin B, vitamin E, and minerals. So we're putting all that in our hair. And this is not just for curly hair. If you have straight, curly, wavy, this just might work for you. And I'm confident that it will work because I watched a million YouTube videos before making this video, doing all my research, and I've read so many comments of people testifying that their hair is now so much longer, it grows faster, it's holding its length. So before I even try this for the first time, I'm confident in knowing that it does work. Now one of the main channels that I end up watching was by a YouTuber named Jazz Mary. She's doing like a whole series and really showed the results of growing back her hair. She's actually fairly new to YouTube and she's getting amazing views on these videos. So bravo to her. I'll make sure to link her video down below in the description box. But today I'm gonna show you how I'm going to do it, how I made my rice water rinse and how to apply it to your hair. So without further ado, let's do this. So obviously you're gonna need some rice. I'm using organic long grain brown rice. I was told you could use white, basmati, wild. It really doesn't matter, but I will be experimenting with different rices next week, so make sure you come back. Then you're gonna grab a bowl of some sort that you can clean the rice in, and then some water. This is just filtered room temperature water. And I'm gonna start off with a half a cup of rice. Most people just kinda of eyeball it, but to give you guys some idea, here is half a cup, and then I realized, mm, probably should put a little bit more. So I did another half a cup, making it a full one cup of rice. Now I'm going to add some water just to rinse it off, get rid of any impurities or anything that might be lurking on that rice, swishing it around with my hand. And you could see when I separate the water from the rice, that's everything that we don't want. So I'm just gonna dump this out. Next, you're gonna grab a jar, mason jar, anything with a lid will really work, but you can get a mason jar from the dollar store, Michael's, Joann's, any craft store. And then we're gonna add all of our clean rice into the jar. Most videos I watched didn't even measure anything, they just kinda eyeballed it so that the lower portion of the jar was filled with rice. And then you fill the remainder of the jar up with filtered water. Slap on the lid and voila. That's all there is to it. You just made your own DIY rice water rinse. All right, so there you have it. It's really quite simple. It's just rice and water in a jar. I am gonna leave it in a dark, cool cabinet overnight because you wanna let it ferment for 24 hours. I've seen so many different ways of doing this. Some people just do it for 30 minutes and then apply it to their hair, just do like a quick rinse. But if you let it ferment, and let it sit overnight, it's gonna let more of those nutrients come out and I think it's gonna do a little bit better job when you don't rush it. Now before I commit to this rinsing challenge, I do wanna show you how long my hair is right now. So let's do a little length check on this striped shirt. Let's get a piece from the back. And it goes right about to this line. So past the second button. Yeah, so we'll see if it grows. I don't really have my bangs out today. Let me bring this forward. Bang check. Bang check. All right. <laughs> it definitely is time for a cut. I actually might end up getting a haircut before this, which might ruin my whole experiment, but we'll test it. So I'll come back tomorrow once my rice water is fully fermented and we'll see how this works. Alrighty, I'm back. It's day two and it's time to open up the rice water. Now this has been sitting for a good 24 hours. Some people do two days, three days. Some people just do it for like 30 minutes, but the longer it sits, the better and like the stronger it's gonna be. But I've also seen from several videos that this is about to smell like poop. 
Like I've heard this is just an unbearable smell. And y'all know I'm really big on smells, so um, I'm nervous. But I have also heard that if I would have added essential oils or orange peels, it actually gets rid of the smell. But since this is my first time, I thought I had to like, you know, earn my stripes and start off with it in its purest form. And then next week I'll add lavender oil, orange peels, peppermint, whatever it may be. But this first try is just, just so I can have an understanding of what we're really working with. <sighs> Let's open this. I'm so scared. Wow, I really put this on tight, didn't I? I work out, I swear. Opening up the rice water for the first time in 24 hours. Hmm. It actually doesn't smell that bad. It just smells like rice and water. Well, that's good because I was really scared from all the videos that I've watched. So maybe if I would have let this sit longer, it might smell worse. Or if I use white rice, maybe it'll smell worse. But I'm not going to complain. So at this point, I'm now going to strain it in this little contraption here. It has a little strainer at the top. And I'm going to do this without spilling. Because this is everything we need, just the water part. And now I'm going to apply it in a spray bottle so I can apply it to my hair. Wow, this is a great little contraption. I don't even know where this is from, to be honest. Probably like Home Goods, Target. Now we can apply it to our hair. Now one of the main questions that I personally had when looking at all these different rice water videos was when to apply the rice water. Some people like to do it before they wash their hair as a pre-poo. That way you can like rinse it out completely with shampoo and conditioner. Some people like to clean their hair with shampoo first, that way you're applying it on a clean scalp, and then they add conditioner after. And then some people like to do shampoo, conditioner, then apply the rice water and then put a deep conditioner on top of that. So because this is a DIY thing, there's not really any rules. I would just say try out different ways and see which way you like the best or what works best for your hair. So for my first time, because I am someone who likes to deep condition every single week, ain't nobody got time for 30 minutes for the rice water and then another 30 minutes of deep condition. So I'm just gonna combine the two today. So I've already washed my hair this morning. I did use the Not Your Mother's Matcha and Green Tea and Wild Apple Blossom Nutrient Rich Shampoo and Conditioner. And now I'm going to apply the rice water on my clean detangled hair. Now one of the benefits to rice water is supposed to help with shedding. So I did keep my little shedding to show you guys. This is how much hair I lost today, just in the shower, a normal shampoo conditioner. Not too much, but let's see if it gets even less by next week. Okay, let's do this. This squirt bottle is like a squirt gun. You know what I kind of want to do? I kind of want to just dunk it. Let's just dunk it in here. There we go. That'll saturate the hair for you. Oh yeah, we are soaked now. Okay, now that my ends are soaked, now I'm gonna apply this to the top of my head and my scalp. This is also supposed to help with dandruff, so I'm excited to see if that's true. Now, if you're not filming a YouTube video, I would suggest just doing this in the shower, and you could just dump this literally on your head, and that way you're not making a mess in your room. I am gonna give myself a little scalp massage. And if you do have leftovers, you can keep this in the fridge because that means it will not ferment any longer. So it'll still stay pretty fresh. And then you could use it the following week if you want. But because I'm gonna be doing a different version of this next week, I don't really plan on saving this. So I think I'm just gonna use all of it because why not? And I'm gonna dump it all on my head in the sink. So I'll be back. All right, now my hair is completely drenched. I just dumped it all on my head in the sink. And I do want to add a little bit of a deep conditioner because that's what I do. So I'm going to be using the same Not Your Mother's Naturals Matcha Green Tea Wild Apple Blossom Butter Mask, one of my favorites. 
And I picked this one because it has such an amazing smell and I thought this was gonna smell horrible. So I was gonna use this to mask the smell, but smell wasn't an issue, especially on my ends and let the rice water take care of my scalp. So I'm gonna leave this in a shower cap for at least 30 minutes. You could do it for an hour as long as you have time for. And now to take things to the next level, I am gonna grab my thermal hair care heat cap, which I use anytime I deep condition. I put it in the microwave for 45 seconds on each side. So now it's nice and warm and that heat is going to help penetrate all the product into my hair. So that's all there is to it. Now I'm gonna let this sit for at least 30 minutes and I'll come back and show you how my hair looks. All right, I am back and I just rinsed out all the rice water and the deep conditioner in the sink with just cold water. So one of the questions that I had was, are we supposed to like wash it, wash it out with shampoo? But everyone said you're just supposed to rinse it out with water and you'll be fine. With just water, I was worried about the smell lingering, but fortunately my hair smells great. All I smell is my deep conditioner and nothing stinky. So that's a plus. But this is how my hair looks right out the shower. No product, it does look very defined, very pretty. But the main test is gonna be if my hair gets stronger and longer. So this is just part one. Obviously this rice water is not just gonna make my hair grow inches in an hour, so you gotta come back so you can see my actual hair growth results. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss my next update video. I post curly hair videos every Sunday and makeup videos on Friday. So make sure you give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and are excited for this new little mini series. And if you want daily tips and daily updates, you gotta follow me on Instagram at Ms. Bianca Renee. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, Bianca Renee today.